Good morning and a quick check in from the field because I found a very exciting thing. Now I already knew to look for gliders because we're in a forest type that has both red bloodwoods and yellow bloodwoods. And uh, I'll show you some of these trees, but as the name suggests, they have um, blood, which is sap. So they have uh, high amounts of sap in their, um, it's not in the bark, it's actually in what's called the cambium layer, which is the living or growing layer inside of the bark. And knowing that the gliders, both sugar and squirrel, like to chew right into the trees and normally they cut little little lines on a <laughs> on an angle so that the sap drips down um, and these being favoured trees and along with that all around we've got other flowering and long flowering like banksias and then we've got um, the beautiful Angophora floribunda which is the name suggest this one back here which is the name suggest flowers abundantly so not in flower now but that's Angophora floribunda and uh there's some of the banksias we've got banksia serrata you can see it there um, but we also have three or four other species as well but the exciting thing is then to say yes well there's definitely gliders here and ta -da, just behind me look at those chew marks on the tree now this is a red bloodwood and quite often and i'm talking about that just there chew quite often you'll find them a lot of chew marks on one tree because there's something favorite about them it just happens to be often find it like that but in this case it's a little tree that has so many chew marks now when i come up close i didn't see a whole lot of sap coming out of the the bark but let's have a look we can show not the bark again inside the bark in the cambium but what you can see there is to get the sap the ants are definitely getting something the bite has to come through the bark layer into the middle. Now, if this was all the way around the tree, of course, that would be what's called ring barking, which stops the nutrients moving up or down. So it stops the, um, the waters moving up and stops the food that's made by the leaves coming down and the tree dies. That's in effect what ring barking is. But the gliders, of course, don't want to kill their trees, whether that's accidental or purposeful. So there's always a bit that's not cut through. 